In this video, you'll learn how to monetize your Beehive publication with Boost. Boost allows you to earn a specified amount for every verified subscriber you recommend to other Beehive publications. This can be in the form of a web boost, which is a sponsored recommendation that shows after a new subscriber signs up to your publication, an email boost, which is a sponsored recommendation block you can include in your emails, or a boost direct link, which is a link you can share on social media and anywhere else you want. Let's get straight into it. To get started, log into your Beehive account and go to Monetize and Boost. From here, you'll land on the Boost Marketplace. On this page, you'll see a list of Beehive publications that are looking to grow. You'll see details about each publication and how much each publication is paying per verified subscriber you refer to them. Before you apply to a Boost offer, however, you'll need to click on the Connect to Stripe button in the top right corner of your screen. This is a mandatory step to start earning with Boost. After you click on the button, select your country from the drop down list and click create new account. From here, you'll be redirected to Stripe where you can set up your account. Once you're done with the setup, you'll be redirected back to Beehive where you can start applying to Boost offers. To make it easier for you, in the Boost marketplace, you can filter by specific types of publications. It's generally recommended that you apply to Boost publications that have similar audiences to you. Additionally, you can sort by featured offers, newest offers, oldest offers, and highest payouts. For every offer, you'll see detailed information about the publication language, size, when its most recent post was made, its target audience, and if there are any geo restrictions for payouts. If you see a geo restriction, this means you only get paid if a verified subscriber is from one of the countries listed in the offer. For example, if a majority of your new subscribers will be coming from the United States, it wouldn't make much sense to apply for an offer with geo restrictions for Spain. This is because A, most of your subscribers won't be from Spain, and number two, the publication that created this offer probably wants a Spanish speaking audience. You can view even more details about an offer by clicking on the expand icon if you want to see details about a publication, including their website URL. And lastly, you'll see the amount a publication is paying per subscriber for both web and email boosts. As mentioned before, a web boost is a sponsored recommendation that shows up on your publication's website after a user subscribes. If this recommendation modal is enabled, you'll get paid the specific amount in an offer if a user subscribes and is deemed legitimate after going through our verification process. On the other hand, an email boost is a sponsored recommendation block you can insert into your email post. So instead of showing a sponsored recommendation to new subscribers, you'll be showing it to your existing subscriber base. We'll cover how to insert email boost in your emails later in this video. Once you're ready to apply to an offer, simply click on apply. Here you'll see a text box where you can provide context about your publication and why you think you'd be a good fit to boost a publication. When you're done, click on submit application. Once you've done that, you've successfully submitted an application. From here, you can go back to monetize and boost to see an overview of your ongoing boost. Now in the overview tab, you'll see a list of boosts you've been accepted for, including their status, how many subscribers you've preferred, and how much you've earned. If you see a live status, this indicates a boost is currently live and running, and that you're currently eligible to earn money by recommending this publication. Here, you'll also see pending and verified subscribers. Pending subscribers are subscribers that are currently going through our verification process. You'll only be paid out for subscribers that successfully pass this verification process. Meanwhile, verified subscribers are the subscribers who do pass their verification process. Essentially, you'll be paid out depending on how many verified subscribers you refer, not pending subscribers. Similarly, the number you see under pending revenue may not be the total amount you get paid out. This is because not all subscribers you refer will pass verification. Now that we've covered web boosts, let's cover direct links. Direct links are simply links you can share on social media, emails, and more. These links are unique to specific publications you're boosting. When you click on the three dots menu next to a publication, you'll see an option to copy direct link. This direct link is a custom URL that links to a publication's subscribe page. Similar to WebBoost, you'll get paid for every verified subscriber you drive through this link. You can view the performance of a direct link by clicking on the direct links tab. The last type of boosts are email boosts. These are sponsored recommendations that you can insert in your actual emails. Essentially, once your boost application has been approved, you have the option to apply to an email boost if a publication is offering it. When you're applying for offers in the Boost Marketplace, you'll be able to see whether or not a publication is offering email boosts or not. If they're not offering email boosts, 
you'll see not available next to the email boost badge. If they are offering email boost and your application is approved, you'll see an option to apply to email boost in the boost overview tab. And you'll see the amount you can get paid per cent. The number you see is actually the max payout or the max amount you can get paid. For example, if a publication has a max payout of $200 per cent and they're paying $2 per subscriber, you hit the max payout if you refer 100 subscribers. But if you refer over 100 verified subscribers, you won't get paid more than $200 because that's what the max payout is set at. Once you're ready to apply, hit apply to email boost. Once you do this, the publication you applied for will have to accept your request. If accepted, you'll have 72 hours from the moment they accept to include an email boost in your email and send it out. To include an email boost in your emails, simply go to post and create or edit a post and type in forward slash boost in the text editor. From here, click on the boost component and select the email boost you've been approved for from the dropdown list. Now, once you send out this post via email, you get paid for every subscriber who subscribes through this email boost. And after this boost is run, you can apply for another email boost if you want. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to check out the boost playlist on our YouTube channel.